Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is, you feel like giving up, but you're coming out of the pit to the palace. You feel like giving up, but you're coming out of the pit into the palace. And today's scripture reference is Psalm 40, one and two, and it reads, I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and, and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. So for many of you, um, you've been crying out to the Lord, like, Lord, I don't feel you. I don't hear you. I don't see you. Like, where are you, Lord? Are you there? And the Holy Spirit is saying today that he is there. He's with you every step of the way. And he's heard your cries and he's lifted you out of the pit and he's steadied your feet. He's put your feet on solid ground and he's steadying you as you walk along. So, in fact, many of you, you know, you're on your way from the pit to the palace. Many of you are modern day Joseph's out there. And we all know the story of Joseph. I mean, look at all of the trials and all of the tribulations and everything that he went through. But through it all, he remained faithful to the Lord and he remained true and obedient to the Lord every step of the way in the pits and in the palace. And so many of you are being elevated to the palace. And part of the reason why you feel feel so low right now is because he's bringing you to such great heights that he wants you to remember where you came from, you know, and, and you need to be tested and tried before the Lord can elevate you into the palace so that he knows you won't forget how you got there. So many of you today, um, you feel like giving up, but the Lord is saying, don't give up. Just keep moving forward in your purpose. Keep doing what you know he's called you to do. Stay in prayer, stay in the word of God, and don't give up because he will lift you. He is lifting you out of that pit. He's setting your feet on solid ground. He's steadying you as you walk forward. And we all know that, you know, we ha we should consider it joy when we go through trials and tribulations because they stretch us and they steady us and they, um, they teach us perseverance. And, you know, I know... Uh, for me personally, you know, I had a really good workout yesterday and after my workout, I was stretching and, you know, there were points where it doesn't feel good when you stretch. I mean, it does, but it doesn't, you know, and it's like it, you always feel good after. And so many of you, the Lord is stretching. And so it, it like, you know, it's good for you and you know that you're growing through the process. But sometimes there's moments when it's very uncomfortable, but that's all normal. And the Lord is just getting you ready. He's getting you ready for in private for what he's going to do in public. He's elevating many of you on a very public level. And you just need to keep pushing forward and know that he's not deserting you. He's always there for you. He never leaves you, even when you feel alone. He's always there. The word of God says nothing can separate us from the love of God. It says that in the book of Romans. So again, I'm not sure who this message is for today. This is just a quick little message. And I know I released a couple other messages today um, that have to do with like, you know, just not feeling like yourself. And the Lord is saying, just keep pushing forward. You know, this is all part of the process. He's still with you. He's leading, guiding, and directing you into his perfect will for your life. And the most important thing is that you just don't give up and that you just keep pushing forward. And you're going to uh, run a good race and he's going to follow through on his promise. So I'm not sure who this is for today. Please take it to the Lord for confirmation. Always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. And just know that the Lord's very proud of you. You know, you've, you've, you've come a long way. Think of how long, how far the Lord has brought you 
and always have gratitude for everything he's done for you. Let, you know, don't always focus on the circumstances, your present circumstances. When you look at the big picture and how much the Lord's done in your life and how much he's going to continue to do, you know, don't allow yourself to get into an emotional pit. You know, get up, go for a walk. Uh, make a cup of tea, get in the Word of God, listen to worship music, and just don't let the enemy get in your head. So just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.